Let's have a look at distributions. That's icon number seven. We have normal probability density, normal cumulative density, inverse norm, binomial P, binomial C, Poisson PD, and Poisson CD. Let's go back and do a normal calculation, normal cumulative density. We're going to look for the area between two values, lower value of negative one, upper value of two. If you want to look at the uh, lower value going to the left forever, put in a negative number that's large. Same thing for upper if you wanted to look for area to the right with a standard deviation of 1 and a mean of 1.5. So we'll go ahead and calculate that area between 1, negative 1, and 2. There's your area with the mean of standard deviation of 1 and 1.5. Let's select a different type. We'll do an inverse normal calculation. Given an area of 0.75 with a mean of 1, standard deviation of 1.5, this is looking at area to the left. So what value, what z-score will that generate? It gives you a 2.17. Let's take a look at a couple more types. We'll look at binomial CDF. Lists are variables. We're going to start with the list. In this list, I've got uh, one, two, three, and four successes. So these are the number of successes. The probability has not been calculated yet. We have to know the number of trials. So let's do 10 trials, probability of success being a 0.25, so one in four. So what's the probability of keep finding one success out of those 10, two, three, or four? Let's take a look at, select the type. We're going to look at that same thing, so we're going to go down and, and we'll look at the variable. Variable asks the question slightly differently. This is for a given value. How many successes? Four with 10 and 0.25 probabilities. There you have that probability there. 